Hello friends and fellow artists. This is Art and & Wine and my name is Jamie Bird. Today I'm drinking a nice Cabernet Sauvignon. Today I'd like to talk about packing for travel and packing all your art supplies. I'm not quite drunk yet, so what I'm gonna do today is show you how I pack all my art supplies before I go on a very long extended trip. I'll be living in another country for at least the next three months and so I want all my supplies and I need to be able to pack them compactly and be able to fly with everything as well. So in this next video, I'm gonna show you how I do that. If you like art and you like wine and you like discussing creative things, then please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll know every time I put up a new video. So one of the other things that I do a whole lot of is travel. And I do a lot of long-term international travel. And another reason why I really like good wine, I try wine everywhere I go. And I like taking my paints with me in case we're in a place long enough for me to be able to start painting, which is usually one plus months. What I like to do is to be able to have something that's kind of like a travel kit, but still have all the paints that I really like and be able to keep it all in one particular box or, or a case. One of the things that I really like to do with my kit is to make sure that things are easily accessible, that I can unload and load it very easily so I have everything I need. I also like it to be well organized and also really importantly, I don't want things to get damaged if I check it in on an airplane. So I'm gonna show you how I put together my kit and how I'm able to carry that around with me easily. Okay, so this is basically my setup. And what this is, is it's, a, it's an old jewelry case, but it loads, it's a front loader and a top loader so that you can open and close it from both ways. And the advantage of that is this great thing of just opening it up like this and having everything kind of ready to, to work in your work area. So you can pull everything out of it. I carry with me everything that I need for creating oil and cold wax. There's a big difference in taking this setup to go on a road trip where you're in a car and you don't necessarily need to worry about flying and restrictions and weight restrictions and of course issues with any uh, hazardous materials. So I'll cover that in this and basically what those hazardous materials are gonna be could be your oil paints, it could be cold wax, and it could be Gamsol. Now according though to every all the information that I've done research on including the the Gamblin website is that all of this is not hazardous for flying when you check it in. So, but to be safe, they recommend that you print out a thing they have on their website and make sure it's included with all this. So when I have all this packed, I'm going to have this piece of paper right on top of all of this stuff so that if an agent wants to open this and start looking at it, it says that it is all acceptable. That doesn't mean that they may necessarily say, oh, okay, cool. They can still decide, we don't care what this piece of paper says. This could have been manufactured out of, out of Photoshop. So, so it, it's totally up to the agent. With that being said, supposedly it's all fine and not hazardous for flying. So in that case, I'm also wanting to make sure that I, I don't take too many big tubes of paint because they're gonna weigh so much. So I'm gonna pretty much restrict myself down to these smaller tubes. And I'm also gonna be pretty selective about which colors I bring. And I may even order another couple of colors that I can substitute a few of these for so that I'm not carrying as many that I have in here right now. The one thing I will do where I have a lot of, I'm going to make sure I have a, a large 150 mil tube of uh, titanium white and also the asphaltum. 
So, because those are the two I use a lot. These others, I'm not sure. I'll, I'm sure I'll bring this Indian yellow because I do use this as a, a lot as well. So, so this is pretty much though most of the paints I'm gonna take. And again, as I mentioned earlier, if you mix your own paints and mix your own colors, you could do a lot less than this. This is truly a huge amount of paints for some people. The other things I use are all my mark making tools. I keep them all in one area and there's not many, so it's just mostly graphite pens and a couple of, of art graphs. I also use these oil pastels and I'm just carrying a few of those. I don't use very many. Again, if you're using a lot more stuff than that, reconsider how much you wanna take for your trip if you're traveling. This other container, I make sure I have one particular thing here which is filled with all of my tools. I got some RNF sticks which I keep wherever I can. <laughs> and these are going to include my palette knives, my briar, my scrapers, some uh, color pushers and a few brushes and of course some skewers and some other fun things. Remember you can find a lot of this stuff, definitely brushes, skewers and sticks and things. You can find them pretty much anywhere in the world. So think about where you're going and if you can purchase it somewhere else, consider doing that. I know in Mexico, I have a little harder time with getting some of these supplies. So I'm making sure I'm taking everything I need. I have a ruler, another, another brush back here. I carry plenty of rubber gloves, which I'll probably put more in there. My cold wax, I'm gonna bring just 16 ounces. Again, depending on how long you're gone for, you, you might need more, you may need less. They also make eight ounce cans, so if you wanna use an eight ounce can, do that. I'm pretty sure I may go through this entire big can while I'm there. Again, these are just application uh, fun things for the Gamsol. They'll be empty, they'll just be in here. All of this stuff back here is paper, gold leaf that I use. I use silver and copper. I put I put several sheets of, of freezer paper, even though I am taking an entire roll down there because I don't know if I can find it down there and, and I'll just keep it there. I take many sheets of, of tissue paper, even though I know I can find that in Mexico. It just makes it easy for me to get painting right away. Some cool little stencil things and, and um, texture creators. And I just throw a bunch of this stuff in there. Not too many, but things that I think I might use. Again, these are pretty lightweight. And because they're flat, it's it works really nice to just kind of put everything either on the bottom or off to the side in your box. So I have, so that's basically the majority of everything I have. And I'm going to be able to put all of this in here. This is a cool scraper I have. I forgot about that. That goes in my tools. I've got my blue slash purple tape. This is the tape that is uh, good for delicate surfaces. Evidently, you can leave it on for a little while, and that's good because it turns out a lot of the blue tape you can't do that with. If you are going somewhere where you're just on the road, you might want to throw some paper towels in there. And if I decide to bring these, I may. Uh, if I keep them in the box, I'll figure out how to get them in there, but I could get them in there right now. I will be taking these and some, some larger Arches oil paper. And again, those can't fit in that container, but they'll certainly fit in my suitcase. I'm also taking these multimedia artboards. These are great. They're very lightweight and you can frame them, but they're, they're made of resin and also cotton. So it's this interesting fusion. And I only bought sizes that will fit in my suitcase. So now we have pretty much everything set up here. And, and that's about it. Now, when I lift this, it's not nearly as heavy as I thought it was gonna be. Let's see on this crappy little scale what we got here. This is great. This is looking like it's 13 pounds. There you go. This is how I'm gonna pack and take most of my stuff down to Mexico with me and be able to paint. 
I feel that I could probably add a few more things in here if I needed to or change some stuff around. But I also like the idea of being able to have everything easily accessible and for me to pull it out and be able to begin painting right away. That's the key, right? Like, let's get painting. So, so this, is, this is pretty much all I need and this is exactly how I'll go and be able to get all my art supplies with me anywhere in the world. That's how I pack for long and short term trips. I really don't think it'd be much different. If you have any other advice or any questions, please leave a comment. I would love to answer any questions you may have. And remember to subscribe. I will be putting out videos every other week. So the first and third fr uh, Thursdays of every month and I look forward to seeing you again. Remember to check out this other great video I have here. This one's got some other information about being creative. And I will see you next time. And remember to keep creating.